battling a big apartment fire. This is going on near Camp Lake. Jonah Kaplan is live there with the latest on what he's heard. Jonah, what do you have? Vinny, uh, well, we talked with a lot of the residents. They were all able to get out okay. The fire started at about 4.30, and there are several fire departments here from all across the area, especially Kenosha County. But we have here a chief from Silver Lake who's joining us, Chief McFarland. Uh, what's interesting is this is kind of a, for people who don't know, this is a lake town. There are no fire hydrants here. So how do you fight this fire? Correct. There's no no uh, tender, or we use a tender shuttle or a tanker shuttle. Each truck carries about between three to 4,000 gallons of water. Uh, we pump it out of lakes. Um, we also have the new Trever Fire Station. It has a water tower. We're filling there. Um, not sure exactly how much we've dumped already, but it's in the thousands of gallons. And how do you keep up the pressure? I noticed that maybe we could point out some pools over here. Uh, our photographer, John, can you point out those pools? Can you explain how it all works? Basically, we fill, we, li we line up multiple, what we call portable tanks. Uh, some people call them swimming pools or portable tanks. Each one holds about 3,000 gallons of water. And uh, right there, we got about uh, 10,500 gallons. We keep, keep trucks lined up, ready to go. And then uh, as we need it, we dump more water into it. And they pump from, four, you got some they'll pump from one engine right that one down to five inch. In. Right now, we're filling, we're supplying the Antioch uh, aerial uh, with five inch supply line. And that's that means, how we're that means five inches wide, these pipes. It's five inches in diameter, as you can see right here. And that'll supply the truck for as long as it needs to be, as long as water's there. All right, thanks very much, Chief. I appreciate all the work we're doing. That's the latest here from Kenosha County. Jonah Kaplan for today's TMJ4. Thanks, Jonah. Nine minutes before 7 o'clock. More local news now. She locked her kids in a bedroom so she could go to work.